Recent assessments conducted at the Schneider Regional Medical Center resulted in positive evaluations for the facility, said CEO Tina Commission. She was presenting findings from the Joint Commission on Accreditation of Hospital Survey at the Government and Health Facilities Corporation's monthly territorial board meeting on Monday. Commission said the survey was undertaken over three days last week, with a physician surveyor, nurse surveyor, and a facility surveyor visiting the medical center to conduct the assessments. These highly trained surveyors evaluated Schneider Regional on 250 standards and even more evidence of the standards compliance and looked at all of our practices, including how we handle patient rights and education, infection control, our medication management, how we prevent medical errors, how we verify that our doctors, nurses, and other staff are qualified, uh, how we prepare for emergencies, how we collect data on our own performance, and how we use data to manage and improve ourselves. And we scored very, very well. Special commendations and thanks go out to our performance improvement team, led by Dr. Delphine Olavachi, and to our facilities management team, led by Mr. Peter John Baptiste, and to our entire nursing team for their excellent work. Christopher Finch, chair of the Territorial Board, joined in the commendations, praising the staff at Schneider Regional for the hard work that has led to such positive results. In her CEO's report, Commission also announced the receipt of the $2.5 million capital injection announced by Governor Albert Bryan Jr. on September 22nd. She told board members that Schneider Regional had spent that money on distributing retention bonuses to staff, particularly in what she described as difficult to recruit and retain positions, including nursing and some critical allied health technician positions. Commission also provided an update on the status of contract negotiations with the nursing union. 239 employees received those incentive payments, some up to $8,500. We hope that this will help to slow separations and will help us to recruit and retain critical clinical staff members. During her presentation, Commission stressed that SRMC's recruiting efforts remain a primary focus. The CEO stated that the board was still awaiting approval for the FEMA project worksheet, which had been submitted in order to be reimbursed for expenditures relating with procuring agency and other temporary workers during the COVID-19 pandemic.